Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to loop a level sequence to create something in your world which is like spinning or floating, bobbing up and down or anything like that. So the example I've been asked to do for this one is crates bobbing up and down in water, so like this. So this is just a plane with the water texture that you have on built in Unreal, so I'm going to be doing that one today. So I've created a little wooden crate and blender very quickly, which I'll link in the description down below for you to use. Just something quick and simple like this. So what we're going to do first is once you've imported that, we're going to right click, get a blueprint class, get an actor like this. I'm just going to call this wooden crate BP. Now this step isn't too vital, but it means that you can mess about with it with the static mesh a lot more easily than you would be able to anyway. So up in the top left, I can say add component and we're going to get static mesh, this bottom one here, and I'm going to get my wooden crate, which I've created. Again, like I say, you can mess about with it more in here. So I'm actually going to to scale this down to half the size like this and hit compile and then that's pretty much all we do need to do with this is just create it and mess about with it however we want so you can customize it a lot more in here so then close that and we're just going to place this into the level like so you can just do this with a static mesh however i just prefer doing it in a blueprint form so get that in there put it wherever you want it and this is where it will need to be and need to stay here otherwise you'll need to redo the level sequence so you put it in and then go to cinematics up here and add level sequence like this and then you choose where to put it so I'm going to put mine in crate and I'm going to call this crate bobbing underscore one ls for level sequence like that and then just open that up straight away and as you can see I've got my time up here in seconds and if you don't have that but you want it like that what you can do is click 30 fps up here go down to show time as and I've got it as seconds instead of frames. So that's what I want it to be. And I want this to be five seconds, which is what it is by default. So just drag this red line to wherever you want it to end for how long you want it to be. Or you can go up here and top left to playback options and choose the start and end time like that. So like I say, I want mine to be five. So I'll leave it like this. I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller like this so I can then see the crate in the world as well, like so. And what we're gonna do is reselect our wooden crate in case it's deselected it, and go to track up on top left, actor to sequence, and add wooden crate BP, which is adding in what we've placed in the world and what we want to move. And then on that actor, we're gonna hit the plus track again and get a transform node. And this transform means we can change the location, rotation, and scale. We, however, just wanted to do location for bobbing up and down, but obviously if you want it spinning, do rotation, want it pulsating, get scale, just mess about with this however you want and obviously the start is where we want the starting position to be so i think the starting position i want to just be up like this so floating all the way up so i'm moving this on the z axis as you can see there so i'm going to make sure that i add the keyframe on the z axis there so to do that you go down to the z hit the button in between the two arrows to add a new keyframe and then i'm going to go halfway through the animation so 2.5 seconds like that and take it down all the way to the bottom like so so i want it to go that far down I'm going to hit another keyframe like so and we'll move all the way over to the end of the animation like this and, and then I'm going to drag it all the way back up again and insert another keyframe like so. So now if we just play this we can see it looks something like that. So we just drag the slider along and see what it looks like. Also you can just do it top to bottom. So the first frame is the top, last frame is the bottom, and then reverse it this way is just easier. So that's not done, so what we can do is just save that up there and close it straight away. And what we're going to do next is go to our level blueprint. So open blueprints and open level blueprint like this. What we're going to do is right click and get event begin play like this. And we're also going to get a reference to this level sequence we just made. So select it in the map. So mine's here, so you just drag and drop that in to the level blueprint like that to get a reference to it. Put underneath, I'm just going to simply drag out off of this and get the sequence player. So get sequence player down here at the very, at the very bottom under playback settings. And then drag off of the sequence player and we're just going to get play like this. So just play, plug that into event begin play like so. And then we're going to come off of this and get a delay. Now this delay is how long your animation was. So for example, I made mine five seconds. So I'm going to put a delay of five seconds in there like so. And then I'm simply just going to come and plug that straight back into the plate like that. If I move this down, double click on that, I get a reroute node, which I can move up here. No, that's on the wrong one, sorry. Double click this one, get a reroute node. I can move it up there so we can see it a lot easier. Double click again to get another one. And it just goes straight back in, meaning that once it's played this and it's finished doing it, it will then just play it again, looping it as we want. So if we hit compile, minimize and hit play, should see that this should now work. 
you can see it's bobbing up and down like so which is perfectly how we wanted it to do so again you can mess about with this however much you want to get it perfect for you but this is how I wanted it just bobbing up and down in the water like so and obviously with different ones you can make them look different act different different speeds different heights or again spinning getting bigger getting smaller anything like that it's just the basic fundamentals of looping a level sequence in your game so I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do we've set it up so we have created a level sequence here and it's looping in our level like so so just like so it just looks like there's a crate in the ocean bobbing up and down so thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one